Netflix's original series, Sense8. Um, this series, I just saw a trailer for it earlier this week, and it looks amazing. Um, this is going to be brought to us by the Wachowskis, uh, you know, the Matrix people. And it's going to be a 12-episode show that tells the tale of eight individuals living in eight different cities that all of the sudden they can start sensing each other. They, they see through each other's eyes. They can see each other. They share memories. They share abilities. Um, so it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, um, and it's story plays takes place after their abilities emerge they are started to be hunted down by some mysterious person slash slash thing um called mr whispers who either wants to capture or kill them it's not quite sure which one he wants to go through but you do see a couple of different scenes you see one it looks like he's an action star like a movie action star one is uh, a kickboxer and it takes place all over the world you see different scenes where they are using each other's abilities. And, of course, it was just the trailer, so it was real quick in and out. But it's still pretty damn cool. Um, and so the way this show is going to be structured is each episode is going to focus on one character each. And so I'm guessing since it's since eight, there's eight characters. After the first eight episodes, we'll kind of see them come together for the last four. So I'm pretty interested to see how this will play out. Now, it does look like it's going to be a crazy action series. They're, they're, they were not light on the action in the trailers. They, they wanted to show you that, yeah, these people who have their different abilities, and when I say abilities, I don't mean like mutant abilities, but like one's good at fighting, one's good at math or something like that. You know, abilities like that, and they can all share them. But they are going to be using everybody's different you know, skills to get through this crazy time that they're going through. So that's, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, now I kind of, while watching this trailer, got sort of a hero's vibe. You kind of see a bunch of people with these powers emerging and it's kind of weird, not powers in the sense of like heroes, they had superpowers, but if you can all of a sudden take all the memories, all the abilities, all the skills of seven other people, you're, all, you're pretty much superhuman. So abilities is not too far-fetched. So it, it kind of mm. shows how their abilities emerge in this time of a great threat. And they're going to, you know, eventually come together and really, you know, save, stop whatever threat, save the world. I'm not sure if they're saving the world is what they're going for. But it, it really just gave me that hero's vibe there. Now, it is coming from the Wachowskis, and they are known for action action and um more action they're yeah. known for like the first matrix movie did have cool concepts going like this sounds like a cool concept the, the connection so they're, they're known for having pretty cool concepts going on and doing good action execution and utilizing new technology yeah i don't see the new technology happening with this part but definitely they are i mean the matrix was a revolutionary movie that integrated CGI into movies like we had never seen before. Or the uh, camera, um, their, their camera trick of the all around, which was in, oh, involved yeah. using rails and flashes in a special way, whatever. So, well, we all remember developed. the bullet they, scene where Neo's dodging the bullets and you see them just, just yeah. and they're spinning around them. I mean, it was one of the coolest scenes of all time, of all cinematic history, at least. Uh, so, yeah, but. I'm interested to see how they'll translate into a smaller screen package. Now, giving Netflix's recent track record, they make awesome original shows. You don't get onto Netflix unless you've done something really, really good. Uh, I, you look at Marco Polo, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was a really good show. Um, you look at shows like, uh, I'm missing a lot, Daredevil. Um, all the, the new Marvel ones will be good. A lot of people love, love, love Orange is the New Black. I believe that's on season three already. Uh, and there's tons of other original shows that they've done that people have really liked. Bloodline was awesome. Yeah. Uh, I've so. recently been looking through Netflix and keep seeing, like, oh, that that's a Netflix original? That's a Netflix. What, what is this one? And it's like, this is on the third season, fourth season? Like, how long? There's so well, sometimes movies. Netflix will also take over a show yeah. and call it their own original. Like, they have, um, like season six now. of... The season six of the Clone Wars, the Star Wars Clone Wars, was Netflix original, but it, it you know the first five seasons were on Cartoon Network, which I'm so glad they brought yeah, it. Yeah, they Cartoon did that with Netflix. Netflix with the rest of development as well. They got the, mm -hmm. the fourth season from that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they 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 have their hands on a lot of shows now. It's kind of 
getting surprising. Like we keep talking like, oh man, they made this really big show. That's really cool. Maybe they'll do more. But no, it's like they're doing just a lot now. They are yeah. just legitly replacing TV at this point. It almost seems like we're getting two new shows a month, one comedy and one drama slash action. So I, I, it's just been it's been amazing. And they're bringing it from all they're not doing the same thing. They're doing very, very unique, different stories, but, you know, keep churning them out, keep churning them out. It's not like what we see on network TV now, where everything either has NCIS in front of it or CSI. So, you know. I mean, Netflix is even order. doing children's shows now. Like, they're generic Julian. children. Yeah, King but they're, so, there's also Richie Rich, which I saw, and I was like, oh, man, this is terrible. But it's the style of children's shows, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. So Sensei, I have nothing but the highest expectations for this show, uh, just like I did for Daredevil. So I, I can't wait for it to come out. It does come out June, I want to say 5th, but it could be 8th. Uh, and I'll probably binge watch it. And that's why it's so good that they have two coming out a month. So it's like, okay, binge watch, binge watch. All right, well, <laughs> next one, you know. There's and they have to time. release them each month so that you can't just w binge watch the show you want from them and cancel the subscription. No, you're like, no, nah, there's going to be another one now. I have to go on for another month. Well, I want to say they have over 20 million subscribers now. It's just, just I don't even know about their DVD home thing, but just alone for their streaming subscription. And if you have 20 million times $8 a month, that's, you want to do the math for me, Brennan? That's $160 sure, that's, million dollars a month. Yes. I'm good. I'm good be. at math. I, maybe I have an ability from somebody else. Because I can multiply 8 times 4. You actually multiplied 8 times... Well, is that how you did it? Because you could have yeah. just multiplied 8 times 2 and then times 10. And then times... Shut nine. up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so... Yeah. Did I? No, I didn't eight, multiply eight times four because that doesn't make any sense. Because then that no, it doesn't. Be... Well, I should did eight times four. All right. I'm pretty five. sure 160 million is the right number. It I, is I, the right I, number. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you were just sure really right bad number. at math, but you came to the right answer by accident. <laughs> I guessed right. That's how it went through. I don't know. Now I'm drawing a blank. I'm like, how, what was I multiplying to get to that number? Uh, yeah, eight dollars a month times 20 million. That's what I was doing. I could have just done eight times two. That's what I did do, in fact. I didn't do eight times four, because then I would have come up with 32 million. All right, so enough with the bath. They make a lot of money. <laughs> they make boatloads of money, and they deserve it because they are putting out quality, very, very high quality stuff. So let's hope they keep going for it. I would like to see them pick up a few. I mean, if you're making this much money, maybe they are putting a lot into these TV shows because they're getting big actors, big really good actors, good producers, good directors for all their stuff. The so maybe pull a couple bigger yep. name movies in. But uh, other than that, I mean, this, the subscription service is definitely worth it. Now, I wouldn't know where the horrible movie of the week segment would be without Netflix, too. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. So thank you, Netflix. Allergic to horrible movies. I am. I am. I sneeze automatically when I, when I did that. But let us know what you think. Are you excited to see Sense8? Do you love the Wachowski brothers, or do you think their stories can get kind of stale? Um, hit us up. Let us know. Are you excited? Do you hate Netflix? I'm going to ask you a million more questions. Do you want there to be Sense8? And then if there's Sense8, should Season 9 be called Sense9? Did I say Season 9 Season 2 should be Sense9? I. But why don't, wouldn't they just continue with the eight people? It wouldn't work as Sense8 series. Season 2. No, you've got to make it Sense9. Or should they double the Sense people and make them Sense16? Yes. Okay. Then that'll be the movie. That'll be the movie. Up. <laughs> Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words from My Face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. And WordsFromMyFace.com. We are always there. But it is time. <laughs>